guys happy friday omg guys it's friday today's august 27th i believe which means there are only four more count them four more days until vlogmas is over so today i decided to do a nice friday evening youtube live so there was no video this morning but i will be back this evening with a youtube live so i'm hoping a lot of you were able to join me because obviously you'll be seeing this video in the future but i have scheduled that for 7 p.m which means i have a lot of things to get done before then mr d is unrolling a new leaf his leaves are so beautiful i actually just purchased some neem oil from amazon um so i can shine up his leaf i'm actually gonna give everybody a nice leaf shine um which neem oil is excellent for plants and it's also kind of like an insecticide so it helps eliminate gnats and stuff like that zoe looks like she's also gonna open up for me today new leaf i'm gonna spritz her a little bit it's not plant watering day but just wanna give them a little bit of a little bit of sunshine a little bit of love all right so now i'm going to head down into my workspace and um i'd like to ship before i go live so i'm going to process orders and try to get that done asap all right orders are packaged up and all ready to go my next order of business was to clean the kitchen but half already did it <laughs> So I'm back home as you guys can see. I have been on a Jodeci kick like for real the last few weeks. I cannot get enough. I'm getting my whole life right now. Anyways, I'm back home. It is 5.06. I am scheduled to go live in a little under two hours. So what I want to do right now is season some chicken that I took out earlier in the day. Hopefully it's hopefully it's thawed. Yeah, pretty close. I'm gonna um, season it up, stick it in the fridge so I can cook dinner later. Um, and then get myself together girl and ready for our little chit chat. I'm very excited about it All right guys, I Put myself together as you can see looking pretty cute Okay, so I need something to prop my laptop on I usually use this pot I've got my laptop My mouse Make sure I brought my charger down. Get that plugged in. Got a ring light, this is half because mine is, um, it's just too big, I didn't feel like lugging it down here. All right, there's my setup. All right, I'm gonna clean my lens, or, yeah, camera, webcam, camera. Make sure that's nice and clean. Pour myself a little dranky drink, okay? Okay, I think we're live. I think we're live. I think I did it. Uh, happy Friday, guys. Come on in. So tell me everything, you guys. How's your day been? I'm vlogging as well, so you guys can say hello to the vlog. Hey, guys, which you'll see tomorrow. <laughs> hey, guys, happy Sunday. Today is plant watering day, which I'm very excited about spending some time with my plants to clear my mind, y'all. Listen, it's actually 5 p.m. I haven't done much today at all. Um, I did watch a documentary. I told you guys I was gonna watch documentaries this weekend and I actually got around to watching one. It was not one of the ones that you guys suggested to me. I came across it randomly. Let me tell you how. So. I'm scrolling Twitter, right, as normal in the mornings, which it's my favorite app to scroll. I come across this post by this guy who 
restores furniture and this family gave him a chair to restore they'd had it in their family for like hundreds of years or something like that and they wanted to get it restored because it had sentimental value to them so he's taking the chair apart um, pulls out the stuffing which is cotton and under a layer of cotton is a layer of human hair human afro hair all throughout this chair i'm talking about pounds of hair like pounds of hair from what would seemingly be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of slaves right the amount that it would take to stuff this chair um so anyways extremely disturbing um but i'm scrolling through the thread through the comment section as anybody would so i come across this one comment from this woman who says i'm certain that slavery was a thousand times worse than what they lead us to believe um like in school and stuff and another woman commented under her comment saying i agree i wish they would show this movie in schools instead of roots and she linked a movie and it was a documentary called goodbye uncle tom so curiosity led me to click the link it's here on youtube the full documentary it's a two-hour documentary it's an italian film about american chattel slavery and y'all it's hard to watch like it was hard to watch i did watch it i had to skip over a couple parts but i watched it y'all so if you feel like being angry at white people today yeah you should definitely ch check that documentary out like watch it before work girl watch it before work and then go roll some heads you understand what i'm saying all that to say now that my soul is completely enraged i'm going to spend some time with my lovely plant babies and then probably go to the water because the sounds of the water you guys already know how i feel about the sounds of the water it actually rained quite a bit this morning so i don't have to water mj or bud they are okay so you remember bud i took home in a red cup so bud now comes up to about my knees mj who was probably at my hips now comes up to my boobs so they're getting so big guys first up is zoe she's doing extremely well remember the leaf i showed you guys was about to open there it is it popped open i like to bottom water her so i actually fill the outside planter and then she just drinks from her roots annie is getting quite tall you guys i don't know if you remember when i actually purchased these bamboo stakes can you even see them the bamboo stakes because she was starting to tilt and i purchased them from the dollar store i remember coming home putting them in tying her to them and saying i can't wait till she grows taller than the stakes and starts to cover them and look at that guys how long ago was that i'm gonna have to try to go back through my vlogs to see how long it took her plant and i did take your guys advice and buy some bamboo stakes to straighten her up because she was getting so tall she was starting to tilt so now she's standing straight. So I can't wait until it grows high enough to cover the stakes. And Mr. D loves this spot, but I'm sorry, Mr. D. I will have to move you eventually. He's showing out. He's giving us another leaf right here. Can you see it? Yeah, there you go. Isn't it pretty? It's about to unroll. Here's Pearl. I haven't watered her in a little while, so I'm going to give her some. She's a succulent, so I don't water her too often. And then here is Drama Queen Princess. She gets water every day. And if she doesn't, as you can see, she tries to kill herself. So my shelf baby's up here. Oh, you guys, here are the, um, the strings from Pearl that I cut and they are definitely growing legs i'm gonna leave them for mm, maybe a couple more days probably till the end of the week and then i'm going to transplant them into her hairline <laughs> so we've got prince prince is also a pink polka dot plant just like princess 
This is her brother. Her brother's doing much better. He's a pretty strong guy, but he is still dramatic. As you can see, like, he still likes a lot of attention. These guys are pretty high maintenance in case you're thinking of getting one. And we've got pepperoni. Look how beautiful he is. My pepperomia. He also likes to be bottom watered. And then we've got my neighbors. These are all my um, cuttings that I propagated. So this is a coleus that broke off of my family. This is another species of coleus that I clipped from my mother's garden. It's actually starting to flower, I just noticed. And then this is a piece of the Trandoscandia that I took from the Rich People Down grocery store. It's starting to creep, y'all, like TLC. And then I've got my Nanook Trandoscandia. And I actually have two pieces of this guy. They're both still kicking. They're the same species as this guy, just a different coloring. So this one is called Nanook. And then up top, we've got our cacti, which don't require watering quite frequently. So that's why I have them up on the top shelf. This is Ms. Claus, and this is Peter and Paula. These were gifts from my mom and Blaine, and then this was a discard from Sharice. But She's doing so well. I don't know if you can tell like how much she is blooming. All right, we're off to the living room. First up, we've got Peter Parker who is stretching towards the sun on this side. So I'm going to give him a little rotation so we can try to get him to stretch out evenly on the other side. But other than that, he's doing well. Shaniqua, my ponytail palm. She is my oldest plant you guys she does very very well in the summer summer is her favorite season just like mine she's moved three homes with me so she's seen a lot girl she's seen a lot she's been through it she's also surprisingly despite how she looks a succulent so she really does not require a lot of water just a lot of light and um minimal care so this is one of my recommendations for beginners if you're looking to start the game you know being a plant mom i recommend a ponytail palm but my number one recommendation is a snake plant or as it's nicknamed mother-in-law's tongue yeah this guy doesn't need anything and he just grows and grows and grows and he just looks beautiful and i love him his name is medusa so again, does not require a lot. You can literally go weeks without watering him. He'll be fine. You can go on vacation. He'll pay your rent while you're gone. He independent, okay? He independent. And yes, his name is Medusa, but you know, he goes by she as well as he, like he's like kind of like fluid like that. Anyways, this is Franco and Franco is my parlor palm which he is my third parlor palm. I, I kill parlor palms. They're very finicky plants. However, their aesthetic goes with my home. So <laughs> I don't know, I keep buying them, keep killing them. I think this will be the last time I try it. If I kill Franco, he will be replaced. You hear that Franco, you better act right. He's turning brown right here because I think I have been overwatering him. Um, I skipped last week, so I'm gonna give him a little bit today. And I'm also gonna rotate him. We've got Rango up here, which is my fishbone cactus, and he is flowering. I'm really torn, you guys. I hate these flowers. Like, succulent flowers are kinda bleh, you know? So I'm not sure if I should cut him, but he's obviously happy if he's flowering, right? But I've also heard that it takes energy from the leaves and I really want these to like cascade a little bit more. So I'm torn. But at any rate, um, I don't think I'm gonna water him today because he doesn't require too much water. Maybe I'll give him a little bit. And then Miss Chin is doing really well. She also grows towards the sun, but you just need to water her when the top, the top portion of her soil is dry. So let's give her a little bit. And then Eve is pretty low maintenance too. This is a Dracaena. She feels kind of dry, so I'm gonna give her a little bit. A 
about two cups and then I can ignore her for a couple weeks. Oh, this plant is fake, you guys. When I first got this shelf built, I just wanted to see how it would look with decor and plants and stuff. So I picked this up, but I'm gonna get rid of it now that I'm a real plant mom. And um, one of the plants that's on my wish list is a Triostar Stramanth. So I think that's where it's gonna go once I get rid of that fake plant. And then we have Gully over here. This is my fern that my mom gave me. He's doing really well. And then last but not least, my pride and joy, my family. Doing so good. This was a gift from my aunt who brought this monstrosity back from Jamaica. Just kidding. It didn't come like this. She brought it as a baby and grew it for me. This pot has many different species of plants in it, to be honest. Yeah, you can see the coleus in the back. That's what actually broke off and is now in the kitchen in my neighbor pot that I propagated. And then you can see leaf of life right here. And yeah, there's just a lot of different types of plants in here and so that's why i call it my family and there's my baby hi marley do you want some water too just kidding Ha, 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 ha. 